Hello, welcome to my channel. I am showing you how I installed this TV mount. This is the before. This is what they, uh, what my parents had it on. This is my parents' place. They had it on this old bookshelf, and I convinced them to get a TV mount. Uh, if you want to fast forward to where I start installing things, just jump forward to this time right here. Uh, so here's the Barkin that I'm using. This is the TV mount that I'm using. It's from Menards. You can probably get it online as well, but, you know, I just prefer to get things in store. It's just easier for me. And it comes in different sizes, so you can get one for small TVs or bigger TVs. And here's me unboxing it. These are all the parts that you should be seeing, and I'll reference them throughout the video. I think this is a Samsung my, t my parents have, a Samsung TV. Not too big, but you know, it works. Uh, these are the parts that I'm going to use and uh, I'm just showing you what they look like. So keep in mind that it's pretty simplified, but instructions themselves, I, just, I didn't like the way the manual worked. So hopefully this video will help explain some things for you. Oh, these are the tools you need, but it doesn't say you need a stud finder. I recommend one. Seriously, get it. All right, step one, we're just measuring our, uh, the holes for the mount. There's four holes and you are going to measure them apart. So we want to see, uh, which mount style we are using. Mine is approximately within the 200 millimeter mark. Yeah. And, uh, also this manual tells you if you want to use a flat screen or a curved screen TV. I'm working with a flat screen and I'm only going to follow instructions for the uh, drywall and flat screen. So we're beginning to go ahead and mount this TV by getting this little square part right here and the rod and it's a really easy order. I'm just showing you carefully how the order of the screws go. So just pay attention to that order as shown. And you can go ahead and screw them in just to secure it, but don't do it too tightly because we want them to have room to wiggle so that way we can adjust it on the TV so we can see how uh, well they coordinate over the mounting holes right here, those four holes that I measured in the beginning. So you see how like there's these other like holes on the rods? It's just for you to see which way you want to position it. And on page five, here's a few options. And then on page 10, it shows you more options. It doesn't have to be exactly like these, but just get it into a position where those holes are fitted over the gaps in the rod so you can uh, screw them in properly. This is just the order how mine looked and yours might look different, but the point is just mount it so that way it overlays on the holes. Right here is just saying, that you don't need to apply too much force, just tighten it securely. You know, you don't want to break your TV or, TV or anything. So go ahead and screw those in. Uh, this part, I'm just reinforcing the tightening for the rods because we were only partially tightening them. Tightening them. Now we're going to fully tighten it and then we can go ahead and insert these screws. I prefer to just gently put them all in place before I tightly secure them just to make sure that they all fit correctly. So just uh, like I put one there secured, but then the rest of them, I just kind of like made sure that they fit in and then I tighten them all afterwards. So now these are all good to go after I secure them in. Okay, step two looks so complicated, but it's really just a matter of measuring the center of your TV to match uh, where you want it placed on the wall. This little cardboard right here is the indicator for that. So you're going to use this to make sure that uh, you can align your TV as you want on your wall. And the back side right there is where um, 
it's going to connect to the TV. So it's it's just saying measure th this part right here along the center of the paper cutout. Step three. So just find the wall and make sure that you take that cardboard thing and measure it against where you want it placed. I'm using this incredible stud finder. I mean, I cannot believe I have been going so long without one. It's so easy to use. Make sure you find a stud and locate it on the wall with this, the cardboard cut out again. Make sure it's correctly placed along a stud vertically. And I didn't show a video of it, but like take a balancer and put it against the cardboard cutout and make sure it's balanced correctly so that way uh, your TV's mounted straight. And just go ahead and mark the holes. So you just take a pencil and draw the holes like this. Once you drew, uh, draw your holes, you can take the drill, right? Oh, make sure that it's lined up properly against the stud. Uh, it's really important this, it, that you do that. So take your stud finder and make sure it's there and drill it in i'm using this little drill bit right here and uh yeah since it's a stud you have to make sure that you drill in first and then you can drill your nail in this is the nail that i use to uh, mount it so as i'm showing here i'm just drilling the holes in Drill, drill, drill. Now we can go ahead and take those nails in the washer, these nails right here. Oh, I'm using the hex wrench to loosen up the mount a little bit because it was screwed on so tight. These, these are just joints. You're not taking them off. I'm just loosening them. So if yours are tight and you just want to adjust them a little bit so you can uh, turn your TV, this is what you use. So these are the nails that we're using to join the mount to the wall. And it's going to be washer right over the nail and place it in the mount like that. And I only have two hands, guys, so I wanted to show you how I drilled it in, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Just drill it in with the drill the nail and then uh, if you want to tighten it some more use this step five is just basically saying to test to see if it's sturdy on the wall make sure it doesn't pull out or anything it's just uh, secure step six we are adding our final touches um, these items right here are going to cover those exposed pieces right there it's just for decor not really a necessity, but it looks nice. This piece right here is just to catch your wires. So your TV wires that are uh, going to stand out. You know, you just want to capture something. And this is all optional as well, but it just looks nice. Step eight. Uh, just take these pieces right here and those metal parts go right inside of these black bits right there. And place them right over these parts. Okay, so uh, just that same way Look at how I'm doing it and place it over one and the other. All right, now we can finally mount our TV onto the mount. So we're taking some washers and nails and we're just attaching uh, the back mount of the TV to the wall mount with these. So just using these parts right here, just screw them in and uh, so right there, the screw and nail, 
Once again, you have to use two people for this one, unless you're um, the Hulk or something. I recommend that you have two people carry the TV. One person carries the TV, one person drills. This part is for the wire. You can just go ahead and insert your wire there and cover it up. Um, it, you have the option of leaving the wires exposed or drilling a hole. Overall, it came out really nicely. I'm so glad I was able to convince my parents to do this. They only were convinced because I have a TV mount installed in my place. And now they're like, okay, we'll do it for our place too. So <laughs> uh, I was happy to do this for them. It looks so tacky with the wires exposed. I highly recommend just drill the hole through the ball, um, wall. You'll have to do one behind the TV and then one near down to the floor. And uh, it just looks so much better. This is what they wanted. This is their style. They wanted shelves. I also installed the shelves and everything for them as well because, you know, I'm just a great daughter. I just, I just am such a wonderful person. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, I'm really happy that they are happy. And this is how it looks. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it helped. Once again, I am just an amateur trying to share my knowledge. Have a wonderful day.